Hi, welcome to Dixie Storytime World, The Upside Down Fish, written by Kate Louise, illustrated by Laura Mateen. Upside Down Fish swims upside down. Down is up, and up is down. He lives at the pet store in a tank full of fish that swim the right way up. Upside Down Fish is very lonely. He doesn't like being one of a kind. None of the other fish let him join in with their right way up fishy swimming. When children come to choose a fish for a pet, they never pick Upside Down Fish to take home. He doesn't even think they even notice him. One very dull day, Upside Down Fish spent his morning swimming around and around the tank. Then he blew bubbles in the afternoon. Later, the tank was opened and food fell from above or from below in Upside Down Fish's case. The fish dashed up, or is it down, and gobbled up the food. The water rocked from side to side. Upside Down Fish was left confused and floating in a large empty space. And at that exact moment, a child came into the store to choose a fish. I want that one, the girl said, the one that's swimming upside down. A net plopped into the water, and upside down fish was finally scooped up. He was put into a bag and taken out of the pet store. The world looked very strange to upside down fish. You see, the ground was up above, and the sky was down below. Upside Down Fish had a brand new tank to call home, but, oh no, all the fish in the tank were swimming the right way up. Upside Down Fish worried that the fish wouldn't accept him, just like the ones back at the pet store. But when Upside Down Fish was placed into the tank, he got a very warm welcome. The right way up fish wanted to know what the world looked like upside down. Some of them even flapped their fins and flipped onto their backs to see for themselves. Upside Down Fish was finally happy and realized that it's okay not to be the same as all the other fish. In fact, it's quite nice to be a little bit different. After all, in a tank full of right way up fish and only one upside down fish, who do you think? stands out more. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this story. I'll see you soon in another adventure.